the city of Los Angeles. Mile upon mile of concrete jungle. Out there in that vast wilderness, a unique yet little known activity is taking place. Petition circulation. Today, we'll take a never before seen look into the lives of petition circulators. Yeah. Out in the vast savannah, potential signers move about their business like so many bees in a hive. The lone circulator, who must be at least 18 years of age, faces two primary problems. Finding enough signatures and ensuring that those signatures have the quality to pass the petition review. As you can see, just getting a signer can be a waiting game. At last one appears, but the circulator's job is far from over. First, the circulator will establish that the signer is a registered voter and within the correct jurisdiction. She then carefully monitors the signing, making sure each of the fields, name, address, signature is filled out correctly. A mistake here could invalidate that signature. The residential address must be filled out completely. Now she reminds the signer of the day's date. Many signatures have been invalidated due to an error or failing to complete that one critical field. Our circulator will be repeating this signing ritual multiple times over the course of a day, each time observing to make sure it is completed correctly. But mistakes do happen. A forgotten signature, a P.O. box for the address. The quest for quality signatures can be daunting, but our circulator presses on. Ah, the end of the section. Filled with signatures, only the final touches remain before its completion. Now the circulator takes some time to review the section, on the lookout for any grievous errors. At the sight of the line with no signature, she can't help but dejectedly sigh. Nothing can be done to rectify this line, nor the next line with the P.O. box. She will have to strike it from the section. The use of a thick black marker makes it clear the line is not to be counted in the petition. She knows better than to use whiteout. This section is nearly done. However, the most critical part of the circulator's task remains, filling out the affidavit. An improperly executed affidavit can invalidate an entire petition section. Hours of work all for naught. Filling out the affidavit is not difficult. The circulator just needs to be paying attention. The affidavit should be the final part filled out on a petition section, lest she accidentally invalidate lines by signing the affidavit prior to gathering the signatures. She carefully fills out her name, residence address, and today's date, noting the day, month, year format. After signing and filling in the final address, the section is complete. This section is just one of many that will make up the petition. But our circulator can take pride in knowing her part of the process.